number one benefit of having a guide. I don't know if you can see this, but this queue is no joke. Like a thousand people. Well done. <laughs> this fort was built by the same family, obviously, as built the Taj Mahal. So the king lived here, his dad lived here, his dad lives here. Eventually, the son that imprisoned the king and built the Taj Mahal, they all lived here. And the king was imprisoned here. It's made of red sandstone from Agra. That part over there is where the Indian army and the British army at one point operate from. So you're not actually allowed over at that bit. So these rooms were for the haram of wives and girlfriends of the king. Not only for pleasure, but for babies too. So that there'd be more babies in the administration. Nice. This pavilion was built for his daughter, Rosh Anahara. And yes, I did just read that the sign. First, with the crocodiles and the eaters, those time. Wow. Second, big cats, lion, panther, tigers, wow. and the soldiers were up here around. I'm Elise, this is Lawrence, and this is our baby night. We're traveling the world, but we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be traveling a month and coming back to the UK and working a month. So we're going to be traveling month on, month off. Until this little one goes to school in a couple of years. We want to see if it's actually possible to travel the world with toddler in tow. So subscribe and come along for the journey. What's that no nice? A fish? Is that fish? Yeah. Oh, fish. So this is a good example of how busy it is. Come later on. With all design of Persian carpets. Like they came from Persia and Persian they are making best carpet of the world. This bit is the king that we were telling you about that got arrested for spending too much money building yes. Taj Mahal 2. He was arrested in here. He was here for eight years and you could see the Taj Mahal for this week. Minus step here. Minus step, no nice. So that was a mosque. When King was arrested, he used to come here and pray, go back. Yeah, keep coming, there's a steep step. Yes, this way. <laughs> How do you know that? You have been here? See this? This is where the king would sit, and then the minister, and then all of this would be the public. And then once a week, he would, uh, he would speak to the public and hold an open call. It's nice of him, isn't it? So before we came here, the lady at the hotel did some lovely henna on my arm, and now it's drying. And I feel like I can't get it on anything because I'm dressed in white. It's any time, but it's going to look lovely when it's done. Yeah, it's turning orange. In there, 
There's a Scottish person. He was representing England back in the day, in like the 1800s, and that's his tomb. Scotland. John Russell Coleman. He was a, a lieutenant. He was ill. He had cholera, and he needed treatment. But there was conflict going on, and he couldn't make it back, so he died here. So how beautiful this place was, and this ugly door was done by the British. Typical. So these grooves on the floor are for horses, so the horses have to come in the Not great for prams, but you know, I'm not going to hold it against them. Talking of prams, um, Taj Mahal, absolutely fine for prams, you can see that in our other video. Red Fort, not as good for prams, I think a baby carrier would have been better, but you can take a pram, but there are places that you will have to um, lift it up. You can see everyone's dead. Water. It's for um, if there were enemy, they'd put hot oil out onto oh, the nice. enemy coming up. Savage. Ruthless. That's something you would do, that is. <laughs> Just in case you can't see from our faces, it is like. Uh, it's like being in a steam shower. So I'm going to show you this queue now, we're on the way out. Look at this queue that we missed because of getting a tour guide. We're going to put his number down in the bottom, in the description. If you're going to come here, make sure you get a tour guide. It's compulsory. <laughs> Otherwise, four and a half hours you'll be in this queue. <laughs> I mean, do you fancy waiting in that? Nah, absolutely not. Good morning, good afternoon. Good morning. We're both very tired. I am, it, it's midday. Is it midday? Quarter to one. We've been up since five. So this is us now on our way from Agra to Jaipur. We've just left the Red Fault in Agra. On our way to Jaipur? We're on, on our way to the next one. We're just passing all of these markets, these street markets. It's incredible. So if you don't know our journey so far, we have flown into Delhi. We spent a few days in Delhi, in Old Delhi. We've then gone to Agra and now we're on the way to Jaipur. We're going to go to the south afterwards. So and Amritsar. Yeah. We are. We are. We're exhausted. And it is so busy out there in the main town. I just had a feeling, for some reason, I had a feeling Jaipur was going to be really quiet in comparison to Delhi, but no, no, no. Wild out there. What I was coming on to show you was this room. This is the, the beauty of traveling, right? Sometimes you get a room that's really expensive and it's a bit rubbish. Sometimes you get a homestay like we got yesterday. Today is one of those days where you luck out because Lawrence actually had to check the bill for this room because we were like, this can't be right. So this was £32 for this room. It's in a very nice hotel called the Golden Tulip. It's got a lovely shower and bathroom and little sitting area, big bed, telly. And it's got a Great. spa, gym. Yeah, it's restaurant, cafe, and bar. Yeah, all in this hotel in the centre of the city. In the centre of Jaipur for thirty-two pounds. Yeah, so we're gonna eat and we're gonna go to bed, and we're gonna see you at nine. We're gonna see you. The, our driver's picking us up at nine o'clock. No nice. No nice. Look, who's that? Who's that? Have you had a good day? Good day. You had a great day. Great day. You say hello to all the Indian family. No? <laughs> okay. Say... Uh, we love India. Okay. <laughs> we love India. Good night. Oh, show them my And we'll see nuts. you tomorrow. Oh, God. Show them my Look. It's getting darker. Is it? Mm. 
Okay, now we can say good night. Bye. Fear Melenge. Fear Melenge. Say fear Melenge. Yeah.